I weather rate for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Oh, the weekend is here and we've got quiet weather to look forward to throughout the weekend. Outside right now, clear skies, 30 degrees, winds light out of the south southwest. We had a high today of 42, so it was a cold finish to the week. This is something that we've seen throughout the month of February. We've been in a cycle. You go back to the first few days of the month. It was cold on Friday with a warming trend that followed through that weekend. Then last weekend, same thing. We ended on a cold note and then we had a warming trend through that following weekend and we're doing it again this weekend. Something else that we may do. Uh, this past week we had that severe weather threat Wednesday night. We're going to have a storm moving through this Wednesday and it may pose a threat of some strong to severe thunderstorms, at least in the region. Right now, the quiet weather. We're between storms. Uh, we have the storm that hit the area back on Wednesday into Thursday morning. It's moving off the east coast. In the wake of that storm over the last 72 hours, plenty of severe weather. Uh, of course, we had that EF2 tornado that hit down near Pendle, Arkansas. All right there, and then we had several tornadoes reported in Mississippi near uh, central Mississippi and then up near the Tupelo area. Also, we had an early morning tornado reported in west central parts of Georgia, so it's been active with this past storm system and that's what you get this time of the year. I know the calendar says February, but when you got mild weather in place, uh, you got these storms moving through this time of the year. They tend to be on the strong side, plenty of wind energy you're probably going to get some severe weather. Now this next storm system that we have in the southwest, it's just going to be a cloud maker. I'm not worried about uh, any any really any wet weather out of it. I mean, there's probably going to be a few light sprinkly showers early Saturday evening, but that's going to be the worst of it. Uh, right now in between the storms, we've still got clear skies. And today with the west winds, temperature starting to warm up. Again, we had that high of 42. Those west winds helping to blow that cold air that moved into the area yesterday back out of the area. So looking at our forecast for tonight, a little high cloudiness sneaking in toward morning. I think for the morning hours, it's going to be pretty bright across the area. But long about late morning through about lunchtime, skies start becoming partly sunny. And then during the afternoon, we're probably going to see a pretty rapid uptick in high cloudiness across the area with skies becoming cloudy by the end of the day and heading into the early evening. Hey, a little green on the map uh, that's going to be streaking off to the northeast again. It will not amount to much. I'm just throwing it out there because I don't want you to be surprised when you're like, hey, where did this rain come from? It will be very light and it will be very spotty. The clouds are going to move out before sunrise on Sunday, and that means Sunday starts with sunny skies. We will see an increase in high cloudiness from south to north during the afternoon, but all in all pretty bright and nice day across the area. Temperatures tonight falling off to about 27 colder readings off to the east and southeast of Springfield. Tomorrow we'll see highs in the low 50s. Uh, I'm going to go 52 for the high with breezy southwest winds. So with the cloud cover in the afternoon and 52 still cool, that breezy southwest wind, you're probably going to want to have a jacket on in that kind of uh, weather. Sunday looking better though. We'll find mostly sunny skies. Winds will still be breezy out of the southwest, but highs in the low 60s. And then on President's Day, nice there too. Mostly sunny with highs around 63. Winds will be lighter too. Next week, uh, still a lot of forecast uncertainty, but it looks like Tuesday will be mild, mostly sunny and breezy. And the next storm that comes through the area on Wednesday, we're going to have to keep a close eye on that one. Uh, looks like there will be some instability in place, higher humidity levels ahead of that storm system. So I think that said, there's probably going to be some severe weather with it. And I think right now the focus for that would be across Arkansas, but I'm not going to be surprised if we see a little bit of that north of the state line here in Missouri. That storm, like this past week's storm, will be followed by colder weather next week. Good car wash forecast. Just avoid mm -hmm. potential raindrops tomorrow night. I hate those raindrops. I paid attention. All right, thanks, Jamie. Millions.